The music comes from Jalisco, Mexico, but many New Mexicans are embracing its eclectic style. With its pre-Columbian rhythms and verse of wounded hearts, mariachi is truly music of the soul. Uh, to me, mariachi music is the most beautiful music in the world. Once it touches your heart, it will never let go. And that is what happened to me. It touched my heart and my soul at a very early age. And I did. Coming up next on Colores. to play with the heart. That's what I tell a lot of you have very good musicians that play the notes correctly but no feeling. You know, is they don't put salt and pepper on the on the music and that it has to come from inside. You have to feel it. Sometimes you don't even know the song but you can pick it up just because you're feeling it. And you can it just comes automatic. I don't know how to explain that, you know, but yes, Marichi music is a lot of feeling. More feeling than other music, I think. <laughs> When I was maybe, maybe four or five years old, we had an old radio and I could hear Marichi music in it and I could feel it already inside. And sometimes I'd fall asleep, but you'd be surprised how I would learn them in my mind. And I could still remember those songs in my mind, even though I didn't know how to play. But it's just, it was there already. And my, my boy, the older one that plays Marichi music, he would fall asleep when I was practicing. And he learned a lot of that the same way, I guess. It's just an inside feeling. It's like you're born into it. A lot of things happen when you're small that you already start to, to know that that child is going to be a certain way. And we have a saying in Spanish, genio y figura hasta la sepultura. It means once, you know, from little to older age, you stay in the same track, more or less. <laughs> I have the 
patience and I like to teach because when you teach and you see somebody coming up and learning it, it's, it you get a good feeling. Your, your, your satisfaction, you guess you say it. Because, you know, you put so much into it, they put into it and they learn and then there's I think he's some, wonderful. I think he's wonderful. He knows so much. He is absolutely wonderful. And one thing I do appreciate very much, he's very disciplined. They all are very disciplined. Very, very disciplined. So you think of, most people think of the mariachi, oh, well, they just, you know, musician, and they just playing here and there. But no, they, they are really, and, and it's very gratifying for me to work with someone who's a professional. You, you come to class on time, you, you practice, you rehearse, and of course we have, we have fun, you, you saw that. But yes, he's a wonderful instructor. I, I really, I feel very privileged to be able to play with him. I play guitar, but I, uh, like with the mariachi, uh, going to the, going to the uh, rehearsals and stuff, I play viola or rhythm guitar, mostly viola. I, I enjoy it. I'm more or less learning to, uh, as far as, as knowing the, the chords and stuff, but uh, the rhythms are very different, and not having done them, it, it, uh, it's kind of kind of really unique, the rhythm that they use in the tuning of the instrument and the way it goes along with the guitar on when it's played. That's what... Uh, Miguel has been a lot of help on it, especially with the different rhythms. And, and everything like that. And besides the enjoyment of being with with a, a bunch of musicians that are, are, are playing the mariachi music, I love the music to start with. And uh, more and more, I learn more about the music from the guys that play it and have played it for years and are involved with it, like like Miguel and Pedro and Joseph and Esteban. And, and they're great. And, they, and, and when they play it, they play it right. And learning to do that is, is, is it's neat. And of course, Mexico has a lot of different music, but the mariachi can play all of the different tastes of the Mexican music, where some of the other music cannot play what the mariachi can play. Primarily the son, el son jalisciense. It, it takes the instrumentation and the voices and the things of the mariachi to give it the full taste. But yet they can do huapangos, huastecos, Musica Norteña, you know, Northern Mexican music, and give it about the same taste, even though they don't have the same instruments. And lately they have even been recording a lot of classical music, which if you hear it, you know, it's pretty hard to, to not understand it as, as classical music. You know, and that was getting away from the traditional, but yet there has been like a, what do you call it, a revolution? And mostly listening. This is one thing the mariachi have a wonder, wonderful ear. They listen and listen, and they do have that split-second timing that many classical musicians will envy, quite frankly. They just a lot of the mariachi seems to have a big band plus a classical discipline to them because they, they play styles and changes that are definitely patterns of the masters, you know, and, and yet it has its Mexican flavor, which gives it the true mariachi flavor and it's unique very unique it is is music music of the people la musica de la gente del pueblo and it's the verse of course very very simple they uh they will talk about love and life and uh, uh, it's very very emotional and uh, in fact it's so emotional that Perhaps many Anglo's will even want to sing this type of music in a shower, you know. But uh, but I think the Latin, you know, have, have a way they do express themselves, and there really no no barriers, most of them anyhow. And uh, so um, yes, it, it it just music that comes from the heart essentially, and from this gut music. A lot of the songs uh, that are mariachi. And that, well, even a lot of the Mexican songs have words really that are very similar. If you would translate them, they're very similar to country western music. They really are. I mean, what the most popular music today is probably country western music, or what I guess some people term it American music. But uh, a lot of the a lot of the, the Spanish songs translate into the same type of same type of ballads, the same type of uh, songs about life. 
they're both about that. And uh, uh, with the unique style of the mariachi, I think that's what gives it its life and gives it its soul. You know, it's just it's a story about life, and and uh, and the music is life. This is the first time I teach mariachi. I have not performed with a mariachi in about four years. Now that has been very difficult for me. Uh, I had to give up performing uh, way earlier than I had anticipated. The reason that it's very difficult for me to perform is, as I told you, I have about a 97% hearing loss without my hearing aids. Now I wear hearing aids, they are very, very high powered, but what you get is a very electronic and synthetic sound, so it does not register like you hear it. When you get all the different pitches, you have the vihuela, they're on one frequency, the guitar, another frequency, the violin, another frequency, the trumpets come in somewhere else, and the guitarron's way low, and you try to put it in an electronic, apparatus about that big, it does not recreate like the human ear. And I have difficulty distinguishing the pitches when they're all playing together. Uh, I have a saying, okay, it goes like this in Spanish, no hay mal porque bien no venga. Uh, and translated, that means something like, uh, there is nothing bad that happens from which something good does not emerge. Now, instead of dwelling on the negative aspect of my hearing loss, I turned it around. And because I cannot hear as well, I have learned to feel the music more. You must feel the music. Uh, when I bring in new songs uh, to class, what we do is I, I almost teach it, I almost treat it like a poetry class. We do not sing the song first. I give them the sheet of paper and they have the lyrics. We read the lyrics, we translate it. Some of the students are not proficient uh, in Spanish and it's very important that they understand every single word that they are singing. We talk about uh, what was the author thinking about when he or she composed this song. Uh, what does it mean? We talk about the era. Some of these are songs of the revolution. Some of, some of them are corridos, they're ballads. Some of them are tragic, tragic love songs. We go word for word. What does this song mean? Then I sing it to them. Háblenme montes y valles, gritenme piedras del campo. Get the voice like, cuando se ha visto en la vida, querer como estoy queriendo, llorar como estoy llorando, morir como estoy muriendo. Feel that song, no, a veces me siento un sol. Y el mundo me importa nada. Luego despierto y me río. Luego despierto y me río. Soy mucho menos que nada. Al fin soy en esta vida. Y como la pluma en el aire. Sin rumbo voy por la vida. Sin rumbo voy por la vida. Y de eso. Tú eres culpable, you know. Get it out, hablen de montes y valles, gritenme piedras del campo. Cuando se ha visto en la vida, en querer como estoy queriendo, llorar como estoy llorando, morir como estoy muriendo. Get that voice out, get that <laughs> feeling, get the feeling out, and then the voice will ride on the feeling. Okay, one try it. Preso y hundido en tu amor Aunque la jaula se adioró Aunque la jaula se adioró No deja de ser prisión Háblenme montes y valles, grítenme piedras del campo. Cuando se ha visto en la vida, querer como estoy queriendo, llorar como estoy queriendo. Como la pluma en el aire, 
describe in words what it does to you. Really, it's very emotional. It's very moving. Uh, something about mariachi music, you know, I could be in a restaurant and the mariachis walk in. Visually, they look magnificent. The way they stand, the way they play, the way they sound, it, it's very emotional.
debajo de esas ojos qué bonitos ojos tienes ellos me quieren mirar pero si tú no los dejas pero si tú no los dejas ni siquiera parpadear malagueña salerosa besar tus labios quisiera besar tus labios quisiera malagueña salerosa y decirte niña hermosa que eres linda y hechicera que eres linda y hechicera como el cantor de una rosa como el cantor de una rosa